Welcome to the Too Late to Podcast episode 8. I like saying Too Late to Podcast. Um, I like saying, I mean, it's not my favorite title. It could have been the Focusless Podcast, the podcast about nothing. Um, but I like the idea that it's too late to podcast. It kind of reminds me, I'm late to a lot of things. I'm There's a lot of things you might have thought I would have done that I haven't done. Um, last night, somebody was uh, contacting me and they were doing a silent auction for some cultural institution that they supported and which I'm, you know, happy to support. And they wanted to auction off something and something to do with me. And the first idea was a set of my films on DVD. And I said, that definitely does not exist. I don't know how long it would take me to get together a set. And at best, they would be, you know, well, I don't know if I could get together a set, like at least I think a couple of the producers of other films of mine might balk at the idea or say there is no DVD or not particularly help me get a DVD together. I think I have some kind of dub of probably six of my films, but there are three I don't have and I don't know if I could. And the ones I do have are just like crappy DVD dubs with, you know, the title of the film written on with a Sharpie. So, no, I don't have a set of my all my films on DVD. And then they said, what about I could auction off, you make a video of them. Like, there's a lot of artists or something. They would like an artist video, whatever that is exactly. An artist video made by Alan Zweig, that would be a cool thing. And I'm like, well, I'm not sure that would be a cool thing. And I can't imagine somebody bidding on that. But that would mean I would have to have a camera and my own and some familiarity with editing my own little pieces. And though I do aspire to make my a few short films, at this point, I'm not set up to do that. So kind of like I was joking with my friends. Yeah, you'd think this guy would have a set of his DVDs, but he doesn't. You'd think he was set up to make it uh, a little artist video or a little short film but he isn't. I promised my daughter we would make a film this past summer. We didn't. Good thing she forgets and she's forgiving. Um, anyway, I sat down here the, this afternoon to talk about my daughter. Okay, so it, it all came out of this thing on TV when somebody had spoken about a certain, a certain person. His kids were too young to really know what he did and this guy was very accomplished, much more accomplished than me in many areas, including in public service and philanthropy and helping people. And his wife said in public someday, when our kids are old enough to know what you do, they'll be proud of your dad. And that affected me. And I was feeling kind of nervous, the nervousness that I feel, the stress I feel, before, when I have my daughter sleeping at my apartment and the next day I have to wake her up and get her ready for school and particularly pack her lunch bag and particularly figure out what to give her for lunch. I was feeling that stress and then this thing was spoken and I just felt this wave of emotion, this feeling of you know, for the quadrillionth time, how how lucky I feel that I have my daughter. How lucky I feel that she, in my life, that I have this being around me. Um, you know, the thing that it makes me think about sometimes when I do think about this and when I think about love, and she's a kid who says who says, who loves the word love, loves writing down the word love, loves saying the word love, loves 
saying that she loves me, loves saying that she loves her mother, loves being told that she is loved. The thing I wonder about is, and I wonder this also because I'm single again and wondering if I'll find that other kind of love. The thing it makes me wonder about is the difference between giving love and receiving love. I filled this up more than I thought. So on the note of giving or receiving love, I will stop there and think about doing one more this afternoon. Thank you.